All right, for the tusks of the orc father, um, I got them from inside the cold perch cavern. Uh, it was actually a regular mob that I got them from. Uh, I guess you can get it really from any sort of mob or urn or, you know, the public dungeon bosses. And for the next one, I'm going to show you the anvil of old Orsinium, where to get that one. Okay, we have to go to old Orsinium in order to get it. I'm going to show you the path. Okay, so if you've never been to Old Orsinium, it is right here. Okay, it is a public dungeon. So, be ready. Okay, watch out for the mobs here. We're gonna go straight down here and go around the corner. There are some uh, spiders here, so be careful. Just stick to the wall and then run right down the middle. You should have no problems. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enter the dungeon here. Alright, if you've never done Old Orsinium, you're gonna have to do the quest. Um, I'm not sure where you have to pick it up. But you're definitely going to have to do the quest because you need that quest in order to get through a door. Uh, if you haven't completed that, you have to do that. Okay, so we went to the left. We came in here. We followed this around. And we're going right to this corner here. Looks like somebody cleared it out. There's lots of spiders in here, so be, be ready. Okay, and we're going left here, this corner, and we're going through. Now, if you again, if you haven't done the quest, then you have to complete the quests here in order to do it, because there's a door right here that you have to get through. I believe it's right here. Uh, once I get closer, I will show you exactly where it is. Looks like somebody cleared it out for me, which is good. Make it a little bit easier to get there. Okay, so be ready to do this actually at a time when there's nobody online as much as possible because even though I did it today, uh, there were lots of people. So this is the door that you have to go through. Okay, it was a little bit to the right. You need to go into this door. And that puts us okay, into this section. Okay, and we're going to go straight through here and then take a right. Okay, I'm glad somebody cleared it out. I don't have to fight everything. I'm gonna try to run through most of it as much as we can. So we don't have to fight so much. Okay, that brings us into the main sort of section here. We gotta kinda kill him so we can see where we're going here. got lots of them here. I'm going to end up dying. I don't... <laughs> wasn't expecting to have to fight all of them. Okay. Alright, so we are now in the main section here, and we need to get to this door right over here. Okay, again, this door won't open if you don't complete the quest. I believe this is another door that you can't get through. Alright, there are tons of urns. So get the urns because you could possibly get the um, the tusks by getting the urns here. I believe you can... Uh, okay, hopefully we don't die. Uh, just trying to get to the door, man. Leave me alone. I have to fight these guys once I get up to the top, but that's okay. Some of them will... Go away. Oops. All right, get 
get through these. All right. Okay. So once you complete the quest, you're going to come in these doors. If you've already completed the quest, you can go straight in the doors. Okay. And it's this section right here. Looks like somebody's already playing around. Okay. So there's going to be guys that show up right here. And there are going to be guys, hold on, these urn, that show right here. Okay. Now, there is another group that's through the door that are the same exact mobs. Um, I don't know if it will drop here. We're still kind of in the forge. So I don't know if it'll drop here, but these guys, one group sits here. Okay. And I'll come back and show you the other ones one more time. And the other group sits right here. Uh, a little bit slow today. Okay, so one group sits here, right where I am. Oh. Okay, the next group sits here. Okay, and then the next group, two groups are through this door. One sits here. Okay, and one sits right here. Okay, so now you know where they are. All right, and so that w that one is for the uh, the anvil, which you've seen, or which you will see. Sorry, um, it's pretty cool. All right, for the uh, dais of Amalexia, the I found a route that works really well here. Uh, we are in Narsis. Okay, you can get this from any box, but this one here is, seems to be any safe box. Um, this one seems to be the easiest route that I found. Uh, less mobs, stuff like that. All right, so the first one, if you look at where I am, okay, it's right here by the uh, vendor. Okay. And I got it first try. All right, so. I've actually already got one, now I got another one. Okay, so the next one is gonna be inside of the, what building is this? Uh, inside of this building here, the big one. Inside the Halaulu Kin House. Okay, right here in this chair, you can already see it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this one. Wait just a second. I'm just trying to pick it quickly instead of trying to do the whole thing. All right, so the next one. Uh, there's a cool room down here before I forget. If you go down to the basement, if you've never been here before, and you take a left right in between these two guards, don't even think it kicks you right back out. Kind of cool. I don't know. I like it. All right, the next one is this house here. Okay, uh, Saren Denilu, Denilu's home. Okay, you gotta break the lock to get in. Okay, and it's up here at the top. To okay, right here. Okay, if you're gonna steal from this one, make sure you have invisibility or you will get a bounty. Okay, and go out of here. And there is one more. It is in the Mage's Guild. I believe it's this one here. Uh, maybe not, Sadri House. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so we're in the house. We go to the left into this room. Okay, there is a guard. So you need to wait for just a second because he will see you. 
Once they get out, we can pick it. I'm not blind. I saw Gods, come quick All right, so I got a bounty there, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and clear that real quick. All right, and go back out. And we kind of just did a little circle here. So if you go back up here on this edge right here, that's up of these stairs, sorry, right here. That's where we originally started. Okay, so we're gonna go from here to here to the, to the chair, to this house, up on the top, up on the top floor, and then in this house right here on this side of the house. All right, I'll see you on the next lead. All right, uh, we are in Ralka in Reaper's March. Okay, uh, this is for the Moonlight Mirror. Um, the first one is right here in the bank. Okay, now this is a master and it is very visible. So make sure that you have invisibility and because if not, you're going to get caught. Okay. The next one is straight across in this place. Okay, you got to pick the lock. Okay, right here behind this guy. All right. So we're going to go ahead and leave this one. And this house will stay unlocked once you open it, as long as you don't leave the area. Okay, so the next one is gonna be right here behind this guy. Okay, but it's gone right now. Somebody must have picked it, got it. Okay, so I am right here on the map. Okay, as you can see. The next one is over here. Somebody's got this one too. I think everybody's looking for everything right here. I'm right here on the map. Okay, be careful not to duck down because when the safe's there, you'll get trapped until he leaves. <laughs> it's happened to me twice. Okay, the third one. Wait, uh, fourth one. Fourth one. Somebody's got it, but it's okay. We're just showing where they are right here. Okay, I'm right by the crafting stations. Um, the enchanter and jewelry crafting stations. Okay, and the next one. Now there could be two in here. We are going into the waxing crescent. Okay, the inn. Okay, there could be one right back here in the back. Okay, on the map. Oops, sorry, on the map right here. Okay, and then there's one more upstairs. Right here. Let me go ahead and do this now before I get caught. Okay, I'm on the upper floor right here above. I'm like almost right up above where we were before, just on the upper floor. All right, and now there is a mage's guild here, but I have never found one in there. I've been in there, uh, there it is, it's back. We'll go ahead and get it anyway. Oop. Get it and see what happens. Okay, go out to the other ones. Just check them one last time. Make sure that they're they maybe respawned since we've been gone. Okay, that one's not there. That one hasn't come back either. Okay, uh, there, like I said, there is a mages guild. It's very well possible that there could be one in there, but I have yet to find it. Um, that is pretty much the rotation that you want to do. Uh, it's probably preferable in the morning, uh, early when there's nobody on, because it does kind of get busy in the section. So the first one is right here in the bank. The second one is in the house above the Outlaw's Refuge. Okay, the third one is right here. Ooh, right here on this little corner, right there. 
The fourth one is right here. The fifth one is here. Okay, but not inside the Mage's Guild. And then there's two inside, but they're both on one on the bottom floor, one on the top floor. All right, that's it. And I will see you on the next lead. All right, for the prismatic feather, you can grind out this section here. Okay, I kind of go right here, then there's one right here. I'll just show you as I go. It's a little bit easier. Okay, this is the first griffin. Sorry, taking so long. Did you know this is my crafter? Okay. There we go. Okay, so I am right here on the map. Okay, the second one is over here. Now there are some other players right now because everybody's looking for the same thing. But I'm going to show you a grinding area, like I said. And I'll show you where this is on the map. Okay, let's take him out here. Okay. Now the next one, okay, I'm here right now. As you can see. Okay. The next one is up here. Hopefully it's not dead yet. Because there seems to be a guy working this section over here right now. Okay. Is right here. Okay. As you can see where I am on the map. Okay, so that'll be three. And then the fourth one sits right here. All right, guys, if you just follow the, the trail that I gave you on the map, uh, you should ha on this map that you see, uh, going one, two, three, four, you should have no problem. Um, I want to thank um, Eden Prime for her original map that she made of all the locations of the Griffins in Somerset. Uh, you can follow her at Twitch at Eden Prime, or sorry, at Twitter at Eden Prime or on twitch.tv slash the underscore Eden Prime. Um, yeah, give her a shout out. Thank her for the map, because if it wasn't for her map, it would have probably been a little bit harder for me to make mine. All right, so let's go take a look at the stuff that we got. I'll show you all the items from this group. All right, so the first thing that we got um, is the mirror. So let's go look at the mirror here. Okay, this is the mirror. Kind of cool, it moves. Now the next thing we got uh, one of the other things, I'm not in the order. Okay, this is the prismatic feather. Okay, we can turn it off and we can turn it on. Put it up high so you can see it well. Turned off all the lights. Turn off some of the lights here just to make it a little bit darker in here. So you can kind of get an idea. It's actually pretty bright. I'm really surprised at how bright it is. Okay. Now this is the anvil right here. It's actually a crafting station, so you can actually use it. Okay, this is the one from Orsinium. And these are the father tusks, whatever they're called. Okay, these ones also dropped in Orsinium. Uh, actually, you can probably get a better view from down below. 
Now the chimes don't come with it. Those drop in Riften uh, from killing the mammoths. That's why I put that in there because it's the mammoth tusks. And the last one. This is the one that drops from Narciss into Sean. These things are so big, I just gotta find places to look at it. Okay, this is a blessed dais of Amalexia. Turn it off and on. So, well that's it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe. And if there's any leads that you would like me to look for and show you where you can find them, let me know in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video.